youths of every nation are pivotized to its growth and development. And when the youths are given the chance to be part of a democratic process, such a nation will definitely excel. And that brings us to the topic of our discussion this week on your image from the station, the future of public relations practice, the rule of the youth. And that is what we are going to talk about today on this program. I have in the studios with me young Nigerians who are products of mass communication from different tertiary institutions. Of course, on the program, I have a practitioner to also juggle to, of course, cross-fertilize the idea with the young ones today. And from my far right, I have a PR practitioner from Nipost. She is uh, Abolaji Ladijobi. You must welcome to your image. Good day. All right, I have also from my immediate right a student of mass communication from Moshud, Abiola Polytechnic, Abel Kuta. It is my pleasure to welcome Michael Jacob to your image. You're most welcome. Yeah, it's nice to be here. And to join us in the conversation today, I also have another student, of course, student of mass communication. He is a postgraduate student from the Department of Mass Communication on Labisi on the Banjo University at Goiwa University. It is my pleasure to welcome Kenyiti Ademuniwa to the program this week. You are welcome. Good day. Nice to be here. Now we talk about, uh, about youth and the future of public relations. It is established that the future of every nation lies in the hands of the youth. And these we cannot take away from them. They are, the contributions are very, very important. It is also very germane to the growth of every nation. Let me start from a PR practitioner in the studio with me, Abolaji Ladi Jobi. As a PR practitioner, do you agree or will do you agree with me or my viewers that youth have a role to play in the process of public relations? Thank you, my uncle person. Yes, the youth have a very crucial role to play in the future of public relations practices. When you look at it, we, we, we look check all the companies, all the organizations we have, there is no way that they can do without a public relations officer. Yes. Because public relations officer is the one that relates with the outside world and brings feedback back to the organization or the uh, company that the person works with. And the, the type of uh, power that the youth carries in them goes a long way especially in this time of internet we have different medias in which youth carry out their public relation services we have different social medias that they uh, they engaging. they engage in yes and this will go a long way in helping the practice of public relation in future now going by what you just said Meaning that uh, you, like a practitioner, myself, and other people that practice out there, need to encourage the youth to further project the practice of publishing. Is that your submission? Yes, that's my submission. Okay, let me go to Michael Jacob, a student of mass communication, specializing in public relations. I, of course, recently, mm -hmm. National University's Commission uh, unbonded mass communication into different phases. And thank God that we have public relations as one of the allied areas of the specializations. Um, so the role of the youth is what you are talking about. In what way do you think you, as a young man, as a student of public relations, can also contribute to the practice? OK, actually, I was very happy when I heard about the unbundling of the mass communication as a course. Okay. And um, because you would um, agree with me that when the old course was still a single course, you have a lot of people going into mass communication without even having what, knowing what they want to do in particular. Maybe they want to be an advertiser, mm -hmm. a public no, no relation, no se. focus per se. But with the onboarding now, it will actually give most um, youth who are aspiring to be a mass communication to see which area they think they can function. And if public relation has been taken out of mass communication, it is one can say that um, most youth now have a lot of things to do in mass communication because if you look at it in every sector and in every practice we need new hands we need the young 
uh, young youths. We need the youth to come in, to come on board with fresh ideas, with ideas that are actually inclined with the 21st century. And if you look at it very well, it is actually the youth that can come into the profession and bring in the 21st century tools, 21st century techniques, 21st century element that can actually help the profession to have a better practice, a better image, and a better role to play when it comes to image creation and image management in organizations. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that was a brilliant summation from Jacob there. He said that youths need to be integrated into the practice of publishers. They need to be given a sense of belonging. In what area, particularly, do you think they can be integrated into this practice so that uh, they can also be part of this process we're talking about? Well, thank you. Uh, in the practice of public relations, the role of youth is so wide that it can never be overemphasized. You know, as a, as, as a youth, you know, you are, it is believed that you are conversing with your society. You know the happenings, what the trending in the society. You know how things are being run. You know what the, uh, the, the public really needs because of your experience and exposure. And you are into it also. So you will be able to determine what you can actually do for your people that will make them believe in what you are doing. Even in points of public relations, you know, you have to do with image. Image. What image are you carrying? What do image do you have? Let's say uh, the public of public relations starts from your own, hmm. from your home. How well do you treat your people that surround you? Your family, your children, let me say your parents. If you are able to, if you are able to live at peace with them, that means you will be able to contribute immensely to public relations practice. Your image matters. Mm. What are the things we can do? No, it is not until you get to the field you will realize that what happens in a real situation is different from what you have read in the book. Mm. Hence, it, it is uh, expected a public relations person as a young and upcoming uh, a professional in the field mm. to align yourself with books or materials that talks about the uh, trend in public, the new trend in public relations. Now, technology, you know, technology as something has changed, has brought about change in the past of public relations. Hence, it is expected that as a public relations person, uh, which is just coming up, you need to be conversing with the use of public relations, how you can meet your target audience, how you can promote your products or your organization you represent by the use of public, um, uh, the technology, new technologies that we have now. You know, so as to uh, give your organization you are representing uh, the good image they actually need. It. That, that is expected. Yes. Okay, may, maybe I just ask Abola uh, Jilani Jovi this question. Do funny or challenging? Do you think that you mentioned the 21st century practice, which has to do with a lot of things? Uh, it's a conglomerate of so many things. Yes. Do you think these youths will be a threat to the to your generation or to those people that practice now? Actually. There is no way they can be tricked. We are all going to work hand in hand. Okay. We need new ideas. We need new revolution. And new blood. New, yes, new blood to come into the system. At least when they come around and we all rub minds together, things will work fine. We are talking, uh, most times now, we are talking about, okay, it's not all about managing crisis that uh, public relations is all about. Mm -hmm. We are talking about presentations too. Managing event, event management is part of it. They can come around and we rub minds together, work hand in hand, and everything will come out perfectly. Going on social media, we, we can have a program, Twitter it, send it on Facebook, on Instagram, and before you know it, the whole world is aware of it. Press conference is there too. So we can do all these things when they are there and things will work perfectly better. And before I go to Jacob, may I ask you this question? In what way do you think you practitioners can actually encourage them into the system? That's the way you encourage them. In what way do you think they can be encouraged? They can be totally integrated into the system. Yes, they can be integrated. When, but in, uh, there is something we call on-the-job training. Okay. They can do on the job trading. And the 
uh, old ones too, they can give in their knowledge out of the words of the knowledge, they can instill into those young ones. And when they have the background knowledge of where this thing is coming from, and they add their own knowledge into it, and everything will work out too well. So is it two? Is it two ways? Is it two? Things? Yes. So it's just a way of cross fertilizing. We are coming ideas. in, and yes. Okay, you're watching your image on the station, and what you're talking about today is uh, the future of public relations practice, the role of the young practitioners. So you can join the conversation through PR Primers on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and of course on uh, Twitter. And you can also join us on www.prprimerslimited.com.ng. And this is the program, the, uh, your image on this station. Let me go to Michael Jacob, a student of mass communication. Now, she mentioned something that you cannot be threat to them because you have to collaborate together, work at the night so that uh, you can push the practice forward. In other, other areas, in what other areas do you think you can also contribute into, into the practice, aside from the on-the-job training that she mentioned? Okay, actually, I want to agree with her. Like, um, one of our uh, a tribe adage you say that um, even if you as a youth have clothes like an adult mm. you cannot have right. rags mm. as adults so i want to believe that we cannot be a threat to them rather we'll bring in new ideas we'll bring in new um new practice new techniques in practicing in what, PR. In what way now now if you look at it very well with the advent of social media okay we see that the image of an organization can easily be tainted, can easily be, I don't want to use the word destroyed, I don't want to go extreme. Now, in a twinkle of three seconds, someone can tweet a particular thing about an organization negatively, and between one second, you see that same tweet having over one million retweets. Yes. Retweet. Yes. Now, the, the problem, the question now is, if you look at the traditional way of practicing public relations, we have, like she said, like we have a lot of techniques that is, that is being used to curb such things. But the, the young youth will come in in the in, in sense of using technology to curb such acts, such messages. For example, we have chat bus, for example, where you can um, a, a particular system can actually respond to a particular message being sent instantly hmm. now if you have youth who can actually operate that kind yes. of technology that kind yes. of software yes. like chat boss mm -hmm. they can actually bring it into the practice teach maybe teach the practicing professionals okay. how to use it yes. now if you connect chat boss to the social media and do of your organizations okay. once anybody tweet anything about the organization the chat boss automatically answers the person tweeting. So if it's going to be a negative, there's a way you can actually program such chat boards that when it's a negative word that is being used against yes, your organization, organization it immediately it will block Locked. that message wow. from wow. from appearing on your on social, social media. media. So I, I, I just believe that um, as social as young practitioners, what we are bringing in is bringing digitalization okay. into the practice. Wow. Yes, we have been taught the rudiments. Yes, we have been taught the norms. Yes, we have been taught how these things have been done. But then we need to bring things that are actually relevant in 21st century into the practice. And like she said, they should give us opportunity to do that. They should give you the opportunity to do that. I'm impressed. That, that's with, with a fantastic presentation there. Yeah? Uh, you talk about the social media aspect of it. Should it be limited to social media per se? When you're talking about uh, crisis management, when you're talking about the uh, corporate social responsibility, they are still part of the rudiment yes, of public yes, relations. Should it be limited to technology only? You mm -hmm. mentioned the chat box that you talk about that you can also always water it down if the, it is negative, uh, which will eventually bring bad image for your organization. In what, I, in what other areas, aside from what you mentioned, that you think your people can come up and uh, contribute well, to your Thank you very much. It is not necessarily uh, meant to be social media. Okay. Like I said earlier, your personality. Hmm. Personality you carry, the image you carry as a person, as a person that wants to project somebody else's image. So what image do you have as a person? This also matters a lot and talks about uh, who you are as a person. Now, saying that is it a threat to uh, the um, 
we young professional be threat to the uh, 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 system of professional professional. No, it will, it will not. It will not because it is there is nothing we want to do. Because the experience matters a lot in everything we want to do. Mm -hmm. There is no how we want to bring digitalization, we want to bring social media, we want to bring this uh, happening to the 21st century. That there will still not be need for us, the necessity for us to beckon on the experience of the professional in the field. Even if you can read very wide, if you can use social media very well, if you are conversing with digitalization and everything, you still have the need, necessity to beckon or to relax or to rely on the experience of the professional in that field because you can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. There is a need for them to actually put you through the rudiment, how to do it, so how you can know. So it, it will enable you to follow the ethics, mm -hmm. the yes. ethical ethics. nature of public relation practice. You know, like that, there are ways you can handle the social media that, that could be unethical to the oh, yes. profession. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. I, 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 I think I, I, so, definitely. Sorry for that. I think I, think I should, I should, I should <laughs> interject that. So I should go to the platform. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned something that is very cogent, that is very salient, that is very relevant to what you are talking about, and that yes. is the ethical aspect the cool. of the profession. On the course of doing all this digitization, the social media thing, they cannot foul all the ethics. Mm -hmm. So they now rely, they are relying on you practitioners. So how do you bring ethics into the social aspect, the social media aspect of, of the practice? Yes, bringing ethical, is very, uh, ethical practice is very, very important. Fresh blood, mm. youth, mm. they want to spread their wings. And if care is not taken, if before you know it, they have scattered the whole thing. You rather bastardize the image you are trying she to... She wants to out of eagerness to show mm -hmm. what they are coming in with. But when there is, okay, this is how the things should be done. This is how it should be done. And this is what you must do. There are, are guidelines which they must not pass up. They must follow the ethical line of this profession. Mm -hmm. If not, things will be destroyed. And instead of redeeming and maintaining the image of an organization, if care is not taken, we can end up destroying the image, which shouldn't, uh, is not part of our own responsibility at all. Our own is to maintain and upgrade the image of the organization. So ethical practice must be invited. And that is why I mentioned earlier that on the job training mm -hmm. immediately we have new recruits it is very important for every organization to do what is called orientation okay orientation on the job orientation on the job mm -hmm. and the, uh, the person they meet on ground must tell them these are way things are very run these are the things you must do these are the things you must, you know, for the steps. The do's and don'ts. The do's and okay. don'ts. The, the steps you have to follow. Okay. And with this, they will now sit down. Okay, this is where I have to, this is my path in which I must tread. And how well must I tread on this path? And even there are rules that uh, guide uh, the internet thing we are talking about the social yes. media thing you know there are rules too there are rules I, I think jacob has a contribution there okay um i am actually like she said when we say practitioners i'm sure we're talking about professionals here yes when you say you're a practitioner in a particular field you are you should be a professional we're not talking about quacks and i believe that before you can call yourself a professional you would have been acquainted with the professional body yes. NIPR yes. okay and of course there is no way you go into NIPR that you would not be kept abreast of the practice and the ethics of the profession and the code of conduct, and the code of conduct. in fact when you register one of the things they will give you is the code of conduct maybe in a book uh, uh, and the likes so if you actually acquaint yourself with such code of conduct then you, you you should be able to guide yourself in the practice of uh of the practice of public relation and of course like you said the internet itself has its own rules it has its own don't it has its own do's so if you merge the 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 requirements of using the internet and you join it with the requirements of the public relation practice then of course you should be professional in in what you're doing the only thing we we'll just say is that when the rudiment is being taught 
in our tertiary institution. Okay. Let there be um, let, let let there be maybe a course or a just a course where a topic whereby the young professionals will be taught more about the ethics of the profession ethics of the profession and when the young professionals are also going out to practice the profession let them acquaint themselves with the ethics of the profession if possible like she said they can do on the job training get someone to mentor you understand what it takes to be a, pro a, a professional understand what it takes to be a practitioner in terms of ethics and then input it in your own 21st century knowledge and wisdom so that you can practice effectively. Meaning that, uh, like we discussed a few weeks ago, that even practitioners should go back to the classroom to teach all this. Because oftentimes, even some of those mm -hmm. lecturers that teach this courses may not even be professionals. Yes. Okay. And that's why there should be intersection between the two. I mean, the town and gown relationship between, you know, in the profession, those who practice can go to the class, they interchange. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think, think that was one of, one, one of yeah. the reasons why yeah. these things were the mask up was unborn so that it can help uh, the practice. Putting mm. like, theories like I said into practical. Yeah. Yes. Like I Putting said, theories into practical. Yeah. Yes. Like I said earlier, that it is when you get to the field, you know that there is different between what exists in the practice than no. what you no. learn in, in the school. classroom. In the, in the, in the classroom. In the classroom that's and I think the uh, the unburdening of mass communication now will give room for. Uh, student or anyone who wants to future or venture into public relations to have the knowledge by no by atta uh, going for an attachment you know mm. when you go for an attachment or a, 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 a what is it it, it to enable you to mm. be acquainted with what is expected of you before you can I decide that you want to practice so public so relations you know, that will give you uh, the opportunity to have more knowledge in the field of public relations the future of public relations practice the role of Young ones, the role of young practitioners, you can also watch us live on Go TV channel 100, start time 113, and of course DSTV on 260. You can also join the conversation through the phone number that is being displayed on your screen there. I still have my guest in the studios, and we are still talking about the future of public relations practice and the role of uh, young practitioners. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and of course on Instagram. Hello, good. Hello. Yeah, you are on to your image. Yeah, my name is Sadiq. Calling from Sangota. Your name again, sir? Sadiq. Sadiq. Okay, Sadiq from Sangota in the state. What is your contribution, sir? Yeah, I just want to make a quick contribution to. Please go. Please go ahead. Hello, oh, we, we, we missed that call. Sodik, uh, you can still call us back. Uh, Sodik called from uh, Songu Water. You can still call us to make your contribution. And let me go back to Bolaji now again. Uh, I think they have agreed before we, they have agreed that uh, there should be intersection, there should be collaboration, uh, you should, you should, that there is need for you people as a practitioner to work uh, alongside the young ones yeah, so that nice. can, that can be better practice, uh, that can be better future for the publishers' practice. Again, they mentioned the mentor, mentoring, yes. they mentioned uh, the ethical uh, aspect of the profession, they mentioned uh, the social media aspect of the thing. What other areas do you think this will, this youth can be brought together to chart a, a, a better course for the future of public relations practice? Well, another area is they must not still relent. Okay, how? They must continue in their studying okay because by the time you public relation practices doesn't end in a year it's a continuous thing it's, it's a continuum yes okay and they shouldn't say because I, i'm now in the field so I, I i think we have a call hello hello you're on to your image oh, we, we missed that call again Yes, we do apologize for that. The light is very busy. You can see colors back. The number is displayed on the screen. And this, the topic is the future of public relations practice and the role of young practitioners. Yeah, you were mentioning that uh, they should not limit themselves. Yes, they must always look out for a way of acquiring no more knowledge. Okay. The same thing goes to those in the, in the practitioners. Okay. Already, the the ones on the job already uh, right now, and the new ones coming, they must continue Hello. to learn more. Yeah, yeah I, I think we have another caller. Hello? Hello. Yeah, you are live. 
Studio, our studios, this is your image. Hello? Hello. Ah, hello. Your name and where are you calling from? I can hear you clearly. Wow, well, it seems that network is. is uh, that, yeah, we have hedges there. Uh, we apologize for that. You can see, uh, make more effort. Yeah, yeah, your final take. Yeah, you want to, you want to make a submission there. Yeah, my submission is public relation has come to stay, okay. and new blood are here to liberate the more. To liberate it more. More. Uh, in form of so it is form of collaboration, and the old ones on the job should please give the new one the, the, the yes the field okay. to work on they should just they should not just sideline them that what did they know they have lots of things on their head that they need to pull down and by the time they are given the opportunity to do this do we, their own work too will become uh, lesser uh, lesser they, they will, yeah, they will be relieved okay jacob so what are your, your takeaway from this edition of the program? Yeah, I think um, most of our institutions now need to understand the realities on ground. That now the onboarding has actually given room for public relation and other segments of mass communication. Our, organization, our institutions now need to get a curriculum that can actually solve the today's public relations problem. Thank you very much. And uh, can you do your final one, quick long? Quick I think now what we actually need now is that the institution should get somebody who is a professional in the field, who is practicing the public, uh, public relation, to teach, to be the one that will teach students in the class. So that it will, it will be a combination of what happened in the field and the yeah, that I have. So. Thank you very much. This is where we draw the curtains of this week's edition of Your Image Original Live from the station. Uh, you can also join the conversation through our social media platform, Twitter, on the Instagram, on the Facebook, uh, of course, and on our website, www.pr-primuslimited.com.ng. I want to say a very big thank you to my guest today, uh, Bolaji Ladi Jobi from Nipus. Thank you very much. You're Michael. welcome. And of course, Michael Jacob, the student of mass communication from Australia Bella Polytechnic. Happy time. My pleasure, sir. And of course, uh, Kendi Ademuiwa from Olatisi Advantage.